action about to get underway here in the Städtisches Stadion an der Grünwälder Straße here in Munich. Bit of a mouthful that, I know. Three massive points up for grabs here. Michel Kölner, the man in charge of 1860, well aware of Saarbrücken and the deep squad that they have compared to some of their rivals in the third division. Definitely one of their strong points and part of the reason that they might stick around at the top of the table. Of course, the games come thick and fast in the Dritte Liga, but when you have a, a slightly deeper squad, it does give you those extra options as well. Saarbrücken, a team that showed last season, perhaps not in the domestic leagues, but certainly in the DFB Cup, that they can cause a few upsets and pull off a few surprises, making it all the way to the semi-finals last campaign. And what a run that was for Saarbrücken. And 1860 and Michael Kölner, their manager, well aware of the dangers Saarbrücken bring to the table. As for Lukas Kwasniok, the man in charge of Saarbrücken, today's visitors, well, he's pleasantly surprised at his team's start to the season. He's aware that it might not necessarily last, but he's just happy to enjoy the ride for as long as it does. Of course, easier said than done. Chance here, perhaps, for Saarbrücken to get off to an early start. Missed by their number seven, Shipnowski. Not that it would have counted. Just drifting into an offside position as the ball was played through there. forward over the top Good closing down there by Neudecker uh, equally was down well there by Jelica. Saarbrücken picking up the first corner of the game. So Anthony Barilla will step up to take this corner from this near side and try and put pressure on Munich. And just over three minutes gone. Still too early to say. Each team has found their momentum first, but an early goal will certainly help that. 1860 able to clear their lines. Ball comes back over the top. A good aerial battle there. It's Sabukan who come away with the ball. Energetic start to the game here for the visitors. Certainly a team who are beaming with confidence. Catching everyone by surprise with their start to the season. Now a chance over the top. Here's Mullers. Mullers. Unselfish play there from Mulders. Called him Mullers. It was caught up in the opportunity that 1860 had there and it's not too often that you see the big number nine hand the opportunity to one of his teammates especially when he's in on goal himself just the keeper to beat instead decides to shift it to his left and into the path of Lex who just couldn't find a way past the keeper a good save by a bats in between the sticks for Saarbrücken there. 
And Bartz was equally as surprised to see the ball land at Alexis's feet there. They give the keeper a little bit more time to settle himself, come off his line, make himself big. I think Alex was uh, probably the most surprised out of the bunch of them. using that upper body strength to just be a nuisance there. He really has mastered the art of the powerful striker up front. early signs are good especially for the neutrals both teams look like they're more than happy to go for this it's been a relatively back and forth with just over six minutes gone fantastic chance for Munich to uh, take the lead and it's uh, quite an open game already one of those fixtures especially looking at how the season started for both sides where you did feel it could be a, a bit of a goal fest and a, a bit of a battle to see who can score more Jason Breitenbach just uh, a little too aggressive there with the challenge and closing down So it is what you want to see from your front players defending from the front. That's a good through ball for Lex to try and chase there, but good defending from Uafero. Sabrek and will be happy to back, have back in their starting 11. Here is Lex on the ball again. Is the right idea there. Able to uh, find uh, Vilsch, I believe it was, making that bursting run through the middle. Barilla with the throw, Uafero. So we'll go back to Bats. Well, neither team holding back on the challenges either. is making for a, a very entertaining start to this game. So Vilsch with the throw on the far side. It's a little spell of uh, pressure this from uh, the home team. Nice little layoff there from Vilsch. Decent cross in as well. Mulder's the target. Comes back out and a first time shot on the half volley. Just drifts wide. Not a bad effort there from Vine. Just sat up nicely for him there. Well within his right to pull the trigger. Just unable to find the target though. Good play there from Talik. Roy Decker manages to stay on his feet. And decides to go for one from distance himself. That one does find the target, but it's a relatively easy save in the end for Butts. 1860 doing a good job of winning the ball back inside Saarbrücken's half at the moment. 
Visitors struggling to get the ball forward. 1860 pressing very high here and closing down with real intention. Sabrakan breaking forward now. Ball picked off in that center circle. Good play. Very nearly a perfect cross there towards the back post. Sides. And not a bad effort there from Perilla to try and get it back across the face of goal on the volley. The inside of that right boot, not the easiest of takes, that's for sure. once again Lex decides to let the ball run out of play there Neudecker did continue his run a shout from him and Lex might have just got that ball Along that touchline, opening was there, easier said than done, of course. And Munich will pick up a free kick. And foul on Klaassen. Steinhardt picking up a red card, or two yellows resulting in a red. To be more precise, a last time out, which is why Klaassen is in the starting lineup here tonight. A handball there from Vilsch. Arm did go up. Away from his side, so easy decision in the end for the ref. Quite clearly portrayed there in that slow motion replay. Saarbrücken with the first real free kick opportunity of the game so far. Probably a little too far out for a direct effort, but they do have the quality in their side to put a good delivery into the box, and there it is! Saarbrücken have their lead. And it's a fantastic header from their frontman, Jakob. Wonderful cross in towards the near post, but take nothing away from Jakob. There was still work to do, and he just guided it into the far corner. Sasha Melders not picking up his run there. And technically superb with the finish. The front man doing what he does best. Jakob with another goal. To add to his tally this season, and Sabla can continue to impress, regardless of whether they're playing at home or on the road. Sebastian Jakob now with three for the season. Well, Sabla can will have another free kick here. Yenike. Taking a, a knock to the back of the head there. Free kick taken quickly. 
Shipnoski fires one hard and low, but it's blocked and cleared. Carson looking to get the ball forward. Shipnoski keeping the pressure on though and tries to just nick the ball away and perhaps pick up a free kick. Goal kick is the decision in the end up. Good ball forward there. There is Klaassen. Back inside to Neudecker. Takes a slight deflection. Back out wide to Klaassen. Good cross as well. Header away. 1860 looking to get things straight. As quickly as possible. Arguably the team with the better start to the game, but on the end of 90 minutes, there's only one stat that counts, and that is the scoreline. A lovely ball inside. Well, Talik went down hoping to hear the whistle blow. Shverko doing a really good job and getting enough on the ball as well. First time, maybe not second time though. Either way, Munich will have to settle for the corner. In comes the delivery. Fantastic header away there. Another scramble in the box here and. Oh, well, well, what an important block that was by Jenica in the right place at the right time. That might have just snuck inside that near post. And Munich will have another corner. Sent that one very deep indeed. Probably a little too much distance on that one. It's always going to be difficult to test the keeper when you've got a, such an acute angle to work with. A risky play at the back there from Munich. Ooh, definitely a high foot there. Salga with the dangerous play. Almost catching the goal scorer, Jakob, on the side of the head. Actually did catch him, I think. Almost 20 minutes gone here, and a very entertaining game indeed. Exactly what we expected from both these sides. With that one goal already scored, you wouldn't be surprised to see a few more come the end of play. Munich still trying to keep the ball rolling, play their normal game. And Keep testing the Saarbrücken defence. Visitors standing firm so far though. One ball over the top. With by Ferro. Sasha Melders just a little too eager to win the ball back inside the Saarbrücken half there. Little tug of the shirt of Sverko. Easy decision for the linesman and referee there.
big question marks over uh, Sasha Mulder's uh, future. He's 1860. He's not exactly the youngest anymore. But if he uh, does put uh, another good season together here with a handful of goals, which is more often than not the case with Sasha Mulder's, it wouldn't surprise me if he does perhaps decide to stay on for well, another season maybe. Two's probably pushing it a bit. It's so important to 1860, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. He really is a, a leader to his teammates, but also to the youngsters who are coming through the ranks. Always happy to help out and give them some tips on how to improve. Chance here now, perhaps, for 1860. The vessel trying to bulldoze his way through and then heavy touch by Klaassen sees the move come to an end. But Munich certainly are trying to get themselves back into this. And they've pretty much picked up where they left off before conceding. Majority of the possession. Good build-up play, just lacking slightly in that final third. Credit to Saarbrücken, who have defended well so far. Have that one goal cushion to defend as well. Well, Munich should have really had a free kick there, quite clearly a handball. Bach unable to find Jakob. <laughs> Sasha Mulder is doing what he does best. Always loves a good little physical tussle. The Munich number nine. He knew exactly what he was doing to win his team the free kick there. Decker. Well, very nearly finding Mulders. I think he wanted it played low rather than high. Just managed to uh, pull away from his defender into that gap in the middle. And a uh, better ball would have seen him through on goal with just the keeper to beat there. by Klaassen. Drop of the shoulder. Oh, he sends it back inside. Vilsch. Talik. Back to Klaassen once more. One on one with Barilla. Patient play here from 1860. A slight misunderstanding between him and Neudecker there. He just got a little stuck in the mud. Didn't continue his run like Dressel thought he would. Larson. <laughs> Munich 
Olympics. Uh, next game just uh, six days away. And they uh, travel to take on Unterhaching. A game that they will feel they can definitely win. Saarbrücken. With a injury time winner in their last game. Was at home against Unterhaching. They return home for their next game as well when Fell come to town. done by especially with the, the way his team have been playing they've been knocking the ball around confidently and up until that final attacking stage they've looked extremely good could have easily be one nil up in the opening minutes not a bad effort there good save by bats making it look a little more spectacular than perhaps he needed to but was quite a bit of pace on that left-footed effort from Neudecker Mulder's once again showing what he can bring to the table. Lovely hold-up play, chesting the ball down and then laying it off to Neudecker to take on the shot. It was relatively central. A good cross by Neudecker there, Lex at the near post. Just... Sort of had to stoop down a little in order to meet the ball with his head. You do wonder if he could have perhaps tried to control it, maybe taken on a half volley or volley. He'd come at him with real pace though, so easier said than done again. Murder, it's lovely through ball. Lex will chase, but he's offside. Can't have been much in that. Credit to Bats, who was very quick to come off his line. And had Lex been on side, the keeper would have probably gotten there first. Well, it definitely is Munich who are pulling the strings here. Nothing to show for it so far. As I was just saying before, they could have very easily been one nothing up in the opening minutes. And that fantastic chance for Sasha Murders then decided to lay it to his left and hand it over or hand the opportunity to score over to his teammate Lex. And I think everyone was uh, caught off guard by that decision. First time I've seen Murders hand over a goal scoring opportunity in that sort of position. Another shove in the back for the big number nine and another free kick for Munich here. Schmerko can't have too many complaints about that one. First one might have been a little soft, that one certainly wasn't. football this from 1860 certainly playing the more attractive football as Klaassen comes in onto his weaker foot and then goes for glory was going to take something special to beat Bats from there he's always on the rise as well Ball there from Salga. 
was actually Moll there, excuse me. Larson again just taking a little too much time on the ball there I've seen a lot of it on this near side Munich deciding to take the majority of their attacks over the left flank as good as they've been and as well as they've played so far, they trail by one and they've yet to really test the Saarbrücken keeper. And one save. To deny Alex in the opening minutes. Probably the pick of the bunch. And quite clearly over the line there. Will be a Munich corner hit. Decker deciding to leave it for Moll. Crossing towards the near post. Doesn't get past the first defender. Clearance is only as far as Vilsch though. Ball comes back in. Slightly better delivery that time. Good punch away from Bats. Sablokan will look to break quickly. But we'll have a free kick instead. Crunching tackle there on Shipnoski from Vilsch. The second yellow of the season. They're shy of putting in a tackle. been interesting how this first half has unfolded both teams are starting well Munich slightly better and then it's Saarbrücken who took that lead slightly against the run of play and then you expected the visitors to perhaps use that and push on from there but it's been quite the opposite 1860 Almost unaffected by conceding the first goal of the game. Have just continued in the same manner. Continue to push forward. Really have enjoyed the line share of possession. And Sarbrücken struggling to get a hold of the ball. But nothing to show for it. Let me show Kona's side. Bach. Not really doing much with the ball there, making life very easy for Wein. Carson with the a long throw. Molders the target once again. on his way and he ball in easy clearance though for tights at the moment Saarbrücken just looking to hold on to their lead before the break 
We're coming together there. Both players down here. Neudecker and Yenicke. Both in uh, a little bit of pain there, it would seem. The free kick given against Saarbrücken. Mulder's thought about taking it quickly, but probably better to just wait a minute and have a crack at goal here. Definitely within range. Neudecker and Mott both standing over the ball. Vine is there with them. This really is a good chance to get themselves back on level terms here. Struggle to create too much from open play, so perhaps a dead ball situation, their best friend. Well, it looks like Moll's lining up to take this one. Oh, he's left it for Neudecker, finding the wall though. Deflection takes it out for a corner. And Neudecker. Looks like he thought that might have been a close one. Although to be fair, Barilla had slotted back almost onto the line there, so was covering that far corner. Which is where Neudecker was trying to put the ball. Not enough bend and not enough lift on it though. Moll and Neudecker on this near side. Another corner for Munich, taken short. Put in by Neudecker. It's only as far as Klaassen, back out wide to Neudecker again. Lex there in support as well, tries to cut it back inside. And it's an easy clearance in the end for Yenike. Happy as Saarbrücken and Lukas Krasniok will be about the scoreline. I'm not too sure they'll be too happy with the way they've performed since scoring. It does feel like a game where there certainly are more goals to be scored. And at the moment, there's only one team that looks like scoring them. And that is Munich, even if clear-cut chances haven't been that easy to produce. Dink over the top there. Swerko makes sure that this side don't concede yet another corner. Down the line for Lex. Good defending from Uafero. Neudecker unable to take the ball with him on the spin. And Saarbrücken looking to break quickly through ball. And there it is, 2-0. Can you believe it? Breitenbach stays on side. The ball through to the wide man was absolutely superb. And how about that for a finish as well. And this is turning into a real smash and grab job for Saarbrücken. Lovely finish, took his time, nice and composed as well. And how about that for a through ball from Shibnowski. Well, they haven't had too many chances, but talk about efficiency. Saarbrücken, 2-0 up now. And 1860 in trouble.
First goal of the season for him. Breitenbach brought into the starting 11 because of that pace he has. And certainly paid off that time. And beautifully timed run as well. You have to hand it to him. Does with the layoff. Yeah, a long range effort. A wide once again. And we see Michel Kona. We'll have uh, plenty to think about and plenty to talk about at half time, I'm sure. coming at very difficult times for Munich as well. Quarter of an hour in. Sebastian Jakob with the opener. And then five minutes before half time. Jason Breitenbach rubbing salt in the wound. What a massive three points this could be for Saarbrücken. And we'll see them. It into first place in the table ahead of 1860 and still with a game in hand. Shibnowski not quite able to control the ball, but he did enough to force Moll into putting the ball out of play. And Sabrican will have a corner. Varela slowly but surely making his way over. No rush with the two goal cushion. Barilla setting up that first goal with the cross in to Sebastian Jakob. Wonderful delivery and even better header. Two fantastic goals, to be honest, from Saarbrücken. Oh, Sverko very nearly making it three there. Another wonderful delivery from Barilla, this time from the near side. And Salga doing it just enough to put Schmerko off there. minutes ago. Can't imagine there'll be too much stoppage time added on. It's been a, a relatively free-flowing game. Munich doing everything they can. Swinging it from side to side, looking for the opening. Movement on and off the ball is right where it needs to be. But Saarbrücken defending courageously and looking ever so deadly on the counter. possession but unable to really do anything with it final ball always a little bit hopeful rather than anything else and that is the halftime whistle so a warm welcome back just in time for the second half to get underway just one change 
for 1860 Munich as they have taken off the number seven Alex and replaced him with a striker to partner Murders up front in the form of the Austrian 32-year-old Puzic coming just joined from Mattersburg. He'll add a, a little bit more firepower as well as physicality up front. As 18.60 desperately look and hope to get themselves back into this game. Well, not a bad cross in. Ferro could have really done with a shout there. was under no real pressure. No Munich players in and around him. Could have easily left that one for his keeper, Bats. And then Mott with the efforts at the far post, finding the side netting with the header. Well, 1860 will feel that they only really have to tweak their performance a little bit. Everything up until the final third's been good. Plenty of possession. They've been decent on the ball. And Mulders has looked good with his back to goal. Hasn't had too many chances himself, though. They can just become a little bit more clinical, perhaps even take a few more risks in that final third as well. Be a little bit more confident in that final ball and a little more precise with it. And they certainly can do some damage to Saarbrücken. They will be happy to just sit back a little bit more if, if that's possible. They sat back for the majority of that first 45. Hitting Munich on the counter, especially with that second goal. No changes for the visitors at the break. Still the same 11 out on the pitch. Metallic with a, a poor ball in there towards Dressel. Saarbrücken uh, with the free kick, Klassen with the foul. Reitenbach does well to win the throw, or at least he thought he had. A lovely finish for that second goal from Breitenbach, but it was the ball through to find him from Shipnoski that really made the goal. to Salga, long ball forward again finding Melders, rarely loses those aerial battles, wasn't really put under much pressure, he just drifted away from the defender, Munich with the throw taken quickly by Melders, as he now heads back into the penalty area on the edge of it, a free kick he's not going to get it that time uh, Leitenbach with the uh, ball to Shipnoski and again this is where Saarbrücken uh, looked dangerous just deciding to slow things down a little that time of course that two goal cushion means the urgency not quite as high Can now be a little more reactive rather than proactive.
Oh, Talit goes down and he gets the penalty. Well, this is just what 1860 Munich needed. Five minutes into the second half and they have their penalty. And Bonne Wafero, the man with the tackle, just missed timing. It really came lunging in there. That was a interesting decision. Missed timing it and Talik knew exactly it was coming as well. So now a chance for Mont to get Munich right back into this with plenty of time to still get a second as well. Well, Batsu saved the five penalties in the DFB Pokal for his side, unable to replicate that here in the Dritte Liga. Went the right way, but there was just too much pace on that one from Malt as he hammers it into the side netting. Well, just about anyway. And uh, Munich. And now, uh, well, could be very dangerous. Already with a spring in their step. Look at them as they uh, try to win the ball back. Neudecker wins the free kick. And this will be a, a real test for Saarbrücken now. Munich's 12th goal of the season, which just goes to show how well they've been playing. And they will well and truly believe that they can still turn this around. It's going to be interesting to see how Sabra can approach it from now on. Do they stick to their guns and sit deep, try and just hold on to this one goal lead? And with its all three points, you feel it might be a dangerous game to play. Now with Puzic out on the pitch as well. Munich with that second target and option up front. It's going to make for a very interesting second half now. Lovely little flick on there from Neudecker. Puzic will pick it up. Here comes the cross. Did it take a deflection? Doesn't matter. Bats will come out and collect. games being played at the moment as well total of five kicking off around about the same time in the third division tonight 2-1 for Saarbrücken here while Hallescher FC leading 3-1 at home against Meppen Kaiserslautern a goal to the good against Ingolstadt at home as well Unteraching losing at home to Duisburg and Victoria Köln beating Bayern 2 at home by three goals to one at the moment. So some interesting score lines around the third division here this evening. Something tells me this one might still change yet as well. Puzic trying to be a nuisance using that physicality of his to cause the Saarbrücken defence some problems. Need to be careful here, as eager as they are to win the ball back and go for that second goal and an equaliser. One thing they can't afford to do is keep giving away silly free kicks, allow Saarbrücken to just slow the pace down a little bit, catch their breath. Need to be calculated in their approach here, the home side. They've gotten themselves back into the game, but they need to... Stay concentrated, that's for sure. Balls like that is something they need to avoid. It's come through. Breitenbach with a really good chance there. Tried to wrap his boot around it. Looking for that top right corner. Within his right to take it first time, but needs to find a better finish than that. But that exactly what 1860 need to be aware of. Situations like that. Oh, 
lovely flick on from Mulders. Neidecker. Neidecker. And they're just always bending away from goals there. Just slicing across it slightly. How about that for a flick on from Mulders, though? Absolutely exquisite. And Neudecker always was going to try and bring it back onto that left foot of his, but execution just lacking slightly. Flick on, Shipnowski. Almost a wonderful ball into Breitenbach there. Moll getting there first with the interception. Saarbrücken with the corner though. Nice how dangerous Saarbrücken can be in those transitions. When Munich do give the ball away, it's two or three passes, two or three touches, and Saarbrücken almost an on goal. the ace they always have up their sleeve and to be fair to the visitors they've reacted well since conceding Carson can't quite get the ball away it drops for Jakob just snatched at it slightly a little too eager to get the shot off probably had a little more time than he thought he did Puzic could hold up play there that's what he's been brought on for well, I think we can expect Munich to try and float a, a few more crosses into the box now with uh, Puzic up there alongside Mulders. Does give them that extra option. Almost expecting the challenge there from Yenke. One of those fouls that the manager doesn't mind you giving away though, just slows things down again. Allows your team to get back into position and crowd that area in front of the 16 yard box. Talik with the low effort, never really generating much power. Lucas Kvarsniok there. Always very vocal on the uh, sidelines. The Saarbrücken manager, quite a character, likes to get involved in celebrations as well as we so with that late winner in their last game. Oh, one touch too many from Puzic there. Touch to pluck the ball out of the air there from Jakob, but didn't have any support in and around him. Lodus as well to ride the first challenge, then looking to pick out his striking partner Puzic, the left footed in swinger. Just uh, a little too much mustard on that one, though.
Mol to Salga. Vilsch. Just licking up onto the arm of Melders. Play will continue though. The wrestler to Klaassen. Cuts back inside yet again. They seem a little cautious about trying to carry the ball forward. And that's far left side, Klaassen. Seems to just be lacking in uh, confidence a little when it comes to the one-on-one -on -one situations. Not willing to take any risks, really. And same goes uh, for Vilsch on this near side. It's good defending from Saarbrücken. Have to continue starting over, but that is better. Mulders with a lovely through ball, and Talik taking far too long to get the shot off. Allowing Uafero to come in and make the challenge. Oh, poor first and second touch, really, never really able to set himself up for the shot. But again, Mulders, the creator of opportunities. Really need to get the ball to him as often as they can. Every time Munich looked like scoring, Mulders is involved. Moll, Neudecker and Talik all standing over the ball here. Talik slowly moving away from it. Looks like it might be Moll. Goes for the long-range effort here, not a bad one. Just never really came back down. Aiming for that top left corner. Michel Kölner, the Munich manager, not a man who likes to make too many changes, it would seem. Mulders! Well, you'd expect him to do better from there. Didn't quite sit up for him. But going back to what I was saying, Michel Kölner has only had 15 players involved in all of Munich's actions so far this season. Salga looking for Mulders. Again, it's the big number nine who wins the aerial battle. And uh, Vine with a crunching tackle there. Will pick up a yellow card for his troubles. Looked initially like it was a bit of a 50-50 there. Sure we'll get a better look at it here. Well, he does sort of come in with his studs raised and over the top of the ball slightly. Second yellow of the season. Saarbrücken preparing uh, their first substitution of the game now as well. Like it's a Mendler getting ready to come on. Be interesting to see who he replaces, and it's 
going to be Breitenbach, the uh, goal scorer of Saarbrücken, second of the night. Job well done as far as he's concerned. Perhaps not too happy about coming off. Probably feels he could still add a little uh, to Saarbrücken's evening, but definitely more of an attacking player, defending not exactly always his cup of tea. Which is why Mendler, who does like to get back and help out a, a little more, is uh, probably the right decision in the end for Saarbrücken. Manager Lucas Kvasniok. Although uh, it should be mentioned that Mendler does have two goals already this season. So uh, certainly does know about the attacking side of the game as well. Also a case of some fresh legs needed. Sapa can look to try and get over the finish line here. Just under 25 minutes to go. Free kick to the visitors. Barilla to take it. Well, he's going to leave it for the new man Mendla. He's unable to find anyone. Just uh, a little too far forward that cross and not enough bend on it to bring it back into any sort of dangerous area. And time and time again, Mulder's dropping deep. And those one-touch little flick-ons Something that Saarbrücken are struggling to cope with. How many times have we seen him do that tonight already? Talik then brought down by Froze, the Canadian. Good opportunity this for the home side. All again, that's better and on target. But Bats are positioned well. Able to make the easy catch in the end. Well, definitely got the dip he was looking for last time. This time round, but... Oh, slight misunderstanding there at the back, which could have gone very wrong. Munich able to get away with it though. About 20 minutes uh, still to go. And Munich haven't really tested the Saarbrücken keeper. Done very well to uh, give themselves a shout and a chance to uh, try and turn the tide here. But since getting their first goal, they really haven't pushed on and added to it in any way. Allowed Saarbrücken to just settle back into uh, feeling comfortable and confident. Saarbrücken still looking dangerous on the counter. Not quite as clinical with the final ball, but... It's enough to uh, keep the Munich defence a little wary and still a little cautious.
if Saarbrücken can walk away winners here, it'll be the first time in an encounter between these two in Munich that Saarbrücken will be crowned winners. So, uh, a chance to write a little bit of history as well for the Saarbrücken side. Michael Kone doesn't exactly look happy, does he? more movements a little bit more impetus in their play just taking their foot off the pedal slightly trying to make his players aware that there's still plenty of work to do here not that much time left to do it in shoulder there to try and create a little bit of extra space to work with. with Talik. Neudecker, good ball. That wide to Puzic. Can he keep it in play? He can, but he's unable to find Mulders. And Jakob doing really well. And absolutely nothing to work with. And then the ball forward. Shipnoski now, Moll there with him. Shipnoski will head towards the uh, corner flag and then gives away the throw. there just waiting and thankfully oh, Ferro just able to get the slightest of touches on it just guided away from Puzic who was just waiting in his shadow there behind him oh the header out of play and that will help eat up a little bit more time to come on and a big powerful number nine I wonder who he will replace perhaps Sebastian Jakob we'll find out now Nice to see that Lukas Kwasniok isn't bringing on a defender, but probably just a straight swap up front. Does seem a little early to set up shop and park the bus. Yannicke, the long ball forward, hacked down just after the ball left his foot there. And Klaassen will pick up a yellow card for that challenge, which will now also give Saarbrücken time to make that substitution. Oh, 
Shipnoski making way for Vungidika. The man from Angola. His third appearance of the season. First, a bit of action is a, a nudge in the back from Selga. Giddika is also an option for these high balls into the box. He's very strong with his head. He'll surely be one of the targets here. Barilla with the delivery. Even Giddika at the far post. Got himself into a great posi uh, position there. Sorry. Was lacking in precision. When it came to the finish, but not the easiest of takes there, he almost somehow guided it on target. Talig hacked down more than once there. And these dead ball situations now becoming more and more important and more and more dangerous as legs begin to tie it. Rosa picking up a yellow card for that challenge on Talig. Beautiful header away there from Jakob. off the ball has just slowed down a little for 1860 which is making life uh, a lot easier for Saarbrücken and well, Puzic going down very easily there coming together with Schwerko there and Puzic Still has a little bit to say, a little bit of a discussion going on there between Mulders and Bonnie Wafero as well. well. Not enough in that for Mulders to win the free kick as far as I'm concerned. He's almost waiting for a, a touch in the back to go down. a very free-flowing game in the first 45 not so much the case here in the second half a lot of stoppages Saarbrücken will welcome 1860 would prefer to avoid but to blame for the majority of them themselves sadly with uh, 10 minutes left here we'd probably say overall a draw would probably be a fair score because although Munich have had a lot of the ball probably in my opinion around about 70% of the possession they haven't really been able to do too much with it Saarbrücken have been happy to let them have the ball and uh, but concentrated on catching them out on the counter if Saarbrücken do walk away winners, well, you don't want to be too mad about it as a neutral, but in the same way, if Munich do get an equaliser, they've probably done enough to deserve it. Well, they're going to have. 
have to do more than they are right now if they want to uh, score that second. Now perhaps a chance. And De Ressel puts it wide. Had almost too much time to think about where he wanted to put that. Anywhere on target and Butts would have been in trouble. Went for glory in the top corner. And it took a slight deflection as well off Froze, which probably helped it wide. So I take that back. Dressel probably would have found the top corner had it not been for the Canadian sticking out that right leg and helping the ball out wide. Another chance for Munich. Good pressure here at the end now. Danger not over yet. Decker, good ball to find Klaassen, Klaassen fizzes one across the face of goal. Neither Puzic or Mulder's able to latch onto it though. Great vision there from Neudecker. Well, that was actually a fantastic cross from Klaassen. Good little uh, moment of action there for Munich, but it's been too few and far between. The trend has sort of been every time they do have a good little two, three minutes, they then tend to take a step backwards rather than forwards. They keep the pressure on here. Scramble inside the box. Selbrück can get the ball clear. Only as far as Neudeko sends it back in. Puzic chests it down. Dressel can't control it. Selbrück and holding on a little now. Looking a little shaky for the first time. Larsen with the long ball forward up by Neudecker who's having a good end to this game Neudecker gets the shot off good save by Butts nearly parries it straight into the path of Mulders who tried to pluck it out of the air but couldn't oh brilliant ball over the top there here's Moll looking to get the shot off blocked by Schwerko well, this is a really good end to the game from 1860 they've left it late but it's better late than never Catch that time for the Saarbrücken keeper. Neudecker not happy about the delivery, far too close to the shot stopper. He's had a, a very good game, didn't look too confident there, but that's probably the only little slip up in his performance so far. There'll be another substitution here. Going to be Saarbrücken. Uh, we'll bring Deville on. Yenneke will go off. And Erdmann coming on. Who scored a goal last weekend. Replacing Leon Klaassen. And now Puzic, Mulders and Erdmann, almost a front three for 1860 as they desperately search for that equaliser now. 
really have upped it a gear or two in these final or past few minutes. Still another four plus some stoppage time to go. Definitely will be some time added on. A number of substitutions and stoppages throughout the second half. Decent delivery. Talig sets it up for Neudecker. And what a save from Butts. That is the save of the game so far. And what a dime to pull it out of the bag as well. Great positioning. And wonderful reactions from the Saarbrücken keeper. He's keeping his team in this game at the moment. Or keeping his team ahead, should I say. Should be an easy catch and is. Really does a fantastic job of commanding his penalty area. Which is why he's such a fan favourite for Saarbrücken. Not to mention his heroics in the DFB Pokal as well. Which we'll see him go down in history with the club. Known as the DFB Pokal penalty killer. He hasn't been doing too bad from open play here this evening. Just about 88 minutes gone. Two minutes plus some change still to go. Eighteen sixty, throwing everything and everyone forward. Saarbrücken can hold on here, it will be a massive result for them. And they'll keep the party going. And they continue to take everyone by surprise at what will be the top of the table with the three points available here today as well. Expect Saarbrücken to just hoof the ball upfield. From now on, they won't be looking to create anything too pretty, I'm sure. Good cross, Schmerko with the header away. And Deville does have fresh legs, but not fresh enough to find a way past Saga. Mall floats one forward. Not happy to head towards the corner flag. Not looking to. Uh, Take any chances and uh, try and create anything too special. It's probably the right decision as he manages to secure the throw in for his side. Three minutes added on as we head into stoppage time. Now less than three minutes for Saarbrücken to hold on and secure all three points. Sebastian Yakov running on fumes now. He's absolutely drained after putting absolutely everything into his performance. Poor clearance there, inviting the pressure.
Mole decides to go out wide. Here comes the cross, header away by Froza. Then Deville. Talek able to turn. Neudecker there with him. Good tackle there from uh, Van Giedeke. Oh, just a little too far away from Mendler there. Froza again with the big, big clearance. Out comes Hiller. Just over a minute to go. Jakob. One last burst of energy. He's pulled up. He's got nothing left. Mendler out wide to Deville. Barilla. Happy to put one more ball into the box. We'll go out for a Sabla can throw. Munich need to get the ball upfield and they need to do it quickly. We've got about 10 seconds left according to the clock. Forward launched into the box. And that might be all she wrote. The referee has a look at his watch and blows his whistle. Three massive points for Saarbrücken. 